Um, in Pashat Bechukotai, we learn about the, um, uh, Pashat, uh, the most ter- terrible um, tochacha, that, um, that if the Jewish people, that they, um, they want to uh, escape their destiny, so Hashem rules over us with, a, with fire and brimstone, to use the um, expression of from Yecheskel. And um, we read about the terrible, um, the tochacha, the retribution or the punishments will come um, on the Jewish people. And in the end, it's, it ends off for, uh, for the good, that with all those, um, with all those curses, uh, with all those calamities and tragedies, Hashem says in the end, um, there will be a nechama, there will be a comfort. Amongst all those terrible curses that the Torah lists, is something uh, just uh, mind-boggling. Uh, this is also a lot of historians say that this is um, again like a proof of the veracity of the Torah. Um, there's a prediction of something so abnormal, so unnatural, and that is that uh, the Jewish people will turn into cannibals. In other words, ordinary there's going to be like there was at the time of the siege of Jerusalem that there was a uh, starvation, there was a terrible, uh, terrible want, and that uh, people converted, uh, they, they, they were transformed into cannibals, they ate, ate their own children. Uh, uh, something which is just so mind-boggling. Um, uh, today we've got, we've got all the means, um, We've got uh, we've got photographs. We've got uh, we've got media. Um, how many cases? How many cases are recorded? How many cases do we know of in the Holocaust of all the terrible conditions that happened? How many cases of cannibalism do we know? How many? Um, I know. Without getting into details, I went once to um, to visit someone here in McDonald. Um, a survivor of the of the Holocaust, and he uh, he happened to say, in a muffled voice, he came comes from somewhere um, uh, near Haifa, and he said that he, he knew of like a, he, he could hardly say it, he knew one case of uh, something close to cannibalism in the camps, and yeah, the Torah tells us about a phenomena, which is recorded also by the by the Romans afterwards that there was. Uh, we had repeated in the, in the second Tochacha about uh, the Jewish people being uh, cannibalistic. It's uh, something that is hard, hard to, to swallow. It's hard to, uh, to relate to. So there's a very interesting Chazonish. And the Chazonish says that, uh, you know, Jewish history is about, uh, everything about Jewish history is unnatural. And um, the punishments are also unnatural. Because as I said, even in the Holocaust, how many cases of cannibalism do we know? How many? Khalila, just uh, it's un- un- unbelievable. And so to get back to the point, the Chazanish says like this, he says, yes, the whole of the Jewish history is uh, unnatural for good and for the opposite. And um, he says that, you know what, he's not saying that it was because of that, but is saying when we look at sometimes the way the Jewish people lived, so the type of sins they, they did, and that's he quoting a Gemara and quoting a Midrash, that was also unnatural. He's referring to a case that was mentioned in the Tanakh about uh, a prophet called Zechariah, and that uh, Zechariah was murdered in the temple by the people on Yom Kippur, that fell on Shabbat. So the, this is what we speak about in the Kinot on Tisha B'Av. It says the Jewish people like wondered, what is Hashem doing? What is Hashem doing that uh, such an unnatural, terrible uh, punishment that people turn into cannibalism? And then in the, the Kinot of the Tisha B'Av, what we do is we quote, so to speak, what the Navi says, that Hashem always points also to us. We, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dual matter, dual covenant. We always have to look inwards to ourselves first. And uh, the prophet then says, and what, how did you act? Did you act normal? Is that normal that a prophet 
who is a Kohen, on Yom Kippur, which fell on Shabbat, in the temple, in the midst of the temple, to be murdered and to be stoned by, by, by people in the temple. Is that natural? Is that normal? Do we see that any, anywhere else? So uh, on a positive note, what we're saying is that um, everything about the Jewish people, about their lots, about their destiny, about Hashem, everything from beginning to end is abnormal. It's abnormal, it's unnatural, it's above nature, above the laws of nature. And what we learned from this is that, um, that uh, when uh, we try to be who we're not, which is unnatural, then we are faced with unnatural type of calamities, and but we are assured by the Prophet that Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that this will all be reversed, and we'll bezat uh, Hashem, we will be merit a type of prosperity which is so beyond any type of natural prosperity, something which is uh, like a supernatural. That's bezat Hashem. All the words of the prophets that shall come uh, materialized in our days of the supernatural prosperity that Am Yisrael uh, so richly deserves.